when Yang Xiaodu became National Supervisory Commission Director Sunday, he took an oath to the Constitution. His newly established commission was born from the newly amended Constitution, approved last week. Among the 21 changes, 11 of them are focused on one issue, building up a supervisory body to scrutinize the use of power. Yang used to serve as Minister of Supervision, reporting to the State Council. Now the ministry has been cancelled. The National Supervisory Commission runs independently from the State Council, a system that Hong Kong deputies find familiar. The city's Independent Commission Against Corruption, established in 1974, turned Hong Kong government into one of the world's least corrupt. A bit similar to ICAC because of its independence. You know, for this supervisory commission, it would not be intervened by any administrative governments. It only directly reports to the NPC standing committee up to the central. So Hong Kong, this ICAC did not report to any government department. It reports to only one person who is the chief executive. I think this is a very good idea. The new National Supervisory Commission also aims to raise efficiency. The country has run pilot programs in several provinces. In January 2017, Shanxi set up the first provincial supervision commission in China. In July, Guo Hai, former party secretary of a local state-owned coal firm, was sentenced to 13 years in prison for bribery and misconduct. The case was under investigation for three years before it was taken on and wrapped up by the commission in just four months. Guo Hai violated both party discipline and the law, so his case had to be handled by different offices, which led to inefficiency and made it last for years. Since President Xi Jinping took office in 2013, his sweeping anti-corruption campaign has punished over a million officials, over 150 were on or above ministerial and provincial levels. No matter the figures, the campaign has dealt with individual cases until now. The establishment of the new commission will make the anti-graft fight a routine part of the government's work. Now all eyes are on the commission in the hope of an institutionalized fight against corruption with independence, efficiency, and determination. Han Peng, CGTN, Beijing.